Ebola virus. What difference? Jim Crow Day. Most radical. It's time to try something new. Hey, everybody, welcome to News Busted. I'm Jody Miller. Let's get started. After last week's Islamic terror massacre in Southern California, intelligence officials say there are ways to tell if your neighbors might be terrorists. For example, if they approve of President Obama's anti-terror strategy. <laughs> the New York Times Saturday edition printed an anti-gun editorial on its front page for the first time since 1920. It was the first time in nearly 100 years the Times admitted their front page is an editorial. <laughs> We've learned that the terrorist Syed Farouk's wife was more than just an accomplice. Meanwhile, President Obama is condemning the couple for driving an SUV because it contributed to global warming. <laughs> Donald Trump has called for the return of waterboarding, which seems like a good idea. It might be the only way to get the truth out of Hillary. <laughs> Tim Tebow and former Miss Universe Olivia Culpo have called it quits. The rumor is she caught Tebow not having sex with another woman. <laughs> in a Washington Post interview, Star Wars creator George Lucas says he has not been online in 15 years. Apparently, he still uses AOL dial-up. <laughs> A man was recently arrested for jumping over the White House fence. Ironically, the fence jumper actually had a better chance of getting into the White House than Lindsey Graham. <laughs> and finally, LA Lakers star Kobe Bryant announced he will retire at the end of this season. After nearly 20 years in the NBA, Kobe is one of only a handful of players who has never had sex with a Kardashian. <laughs> Thanks for watching News Busted, everybody. I'm Jody Miller. Please go to 2016newsbusted.com and help us get ready for 2016. We'll catch you next time.